Hello and welcome to ESPN's In Your Face. I'm your host, Jackson Neal, along with my debaters, Ari Glazier and Nico Panos. And today we'll start off, who should the number one pick in the NBA draft be tonight, uh, Ari? I'm going to go Jabari Parker. I think if I were the Cavs, I would definitely go Jabari Parker. If you ask any NBA expert, they'll say Jabari Parker is a... Uh, almost a surefire rookie of the year. He's at least uh, by far the favorite. I think he's the most NBA-ready player. Wiggins is not really a long shot, but I think Wiggins is uh, more of a risk than Parker, who you know is at least going to be solid going in. Nico, what's your response to this? Um, first of all, where do you see Parker in five years? And where do you see Wiggins in five years? Exactly. Wiggins will be the better it. player in five years. I don't care you didn't say anything. Because you know that Wiggins will be the better player in five years, in ten years, in even twenty years. I think he'll both be retired in twenty years. No, I think he'll, Wiggins will be keep playing because Parker will get a stupid injury. I think Parker's going to be better. And now moving on with um, recent free agent news in the NBA, LeBron has opted out of his contract. Nico, where do you think LeBron is headed? I, for if I was LeBron, I would definitely go up with James Harden and Dwight Howard and join the Rockets. I bet he knows both players very well because of the All-Star game. And all three of them combined, it's going to have record-setting point just, totals. Well, I completely disagree. I think uh, a much more realistic and uh, smart option for James is to go over to L.A. You know, James is the L.A. personality. He wants to be in the spotlight, and he deserves to be in the spotlight. He's the best player in the world. You talk about Harden and Howard being uh, this dynamic big three. How about Blake Griffin, LeBron James, and Chris Paul? You talk about James being friends with Howard and Harden. How about Chris Paul made LeBron James the godfather of his son? They were at each other's weddings. And that, Those two are best friends. That is a good point. And that'll be all for tonight. For your co-hosts, I'm Jackson Neal. Good night.